For an artist to grow up in the spotlight is an ever-changing experience. But how did they get there, you might ask? Well, in this video, I'm going to cover three artists on their rise to fame. All three of these artists have had so many different opportunities within the music industry, but also they've had opportunities in film, in music theater, in dancing, and on live TV shows. So learn more in this video. Tate McRae has been very much thriving in the music industry. Not only has she collaborated with various artists, but she's been nominated for tons of awards. But her career started a little bit differently. Tate McRae is a well-known dancer. Her career actually took off when she participated in So You Think You Can Dance in 2016 at the age of 13. On her YouTube channel, she has various videos of her dancing. She's danced to Strangers by Sigrid, she's done dances by Khalid, and she would usually dance in a studio. Dancing wasn't the only thing that Tate McRae was passionate about. She was also passionate about music. She would post her original music on YouTube, and one day, it went viral. On TikTok and on YouTube, they heard the song One Day, and that led her to her debut song of You Broke Me First. Although, through all of this and all the award shows she's attended, dancing has always stuck with her. She is a sensational performer on stage, and she always has background dancers, she's always contributes to the dancing, and she always... Renee Rapp has been in the spotlight for a couple of years now. She's known for doing music theater, doing acting, and singing. Her career really took off in 2019 when she did Mean Girls the Musical as her role as Regina George. From there, she contributed to a lot of different projects. In 2021, she played the role of Layton on an HBO series titled Sex Lives of College Girls. Off screen, Renee Rapp really focused highly on her music, and in 2022, she released her EP, Everything to Everyone. Through her music, she's been really open about her struggles with mental health and her rise to fame. To follow along with her music, she also released a new album called Snow Angel in 2023. Been able to go on tour and to have fun with all of her songs and really interact with her fans. One of her most recent projects was reprising her role as Regina George in Mean Girls the Musical, which hit theaters back in January. She was also featured on SNL and has a lot of upcoming projects in the future. And through all of Renee Rapp's projects, music has always been the center. I mean, how can you not dance around your room to the new Mean Girl musical songs? Noah is a 27-year-old singer-songwriter who became a sensation in a year. Noah signed a record deal as a high school senior, and eight years afterwards, he released his third album, Stick Season, which made him the next big thing. With this album, it reached number one on the Billboard Rock and Alternative album in 2023, and he earned his Grammy nomination for Best New Artist. Noah has contributed a lot over his career. He was a part of SNL, has collaborated with a bunch of new artists, and he is working on some new releases that are coming soon. Noah has accomplished a lot throughout his music career, and I can't wait to see what's next for him. Well, that concludes the end of this video. So what do you think about these artists? 